Okay, what do you get for a hundred thousand dollars in a Maserati Levante? So this particular one's an S Grand Sport. So Levante's come with a base, and they got one a few different option packages. So this Levante Grand Sport S gives you 424 horsepower, twin turbo V6, hand built by Ferrari in Maranello. Now some people keep on arguing with me. There's no arguing. That's where it's built. Uh, this has options where it gives you the ventilated front seats, full natural drilled leather. What's full natural drilled leather? Well, all this is real Italian leather. And what they do is they bring it all the way up on the dashboard. That's called full natural drill leather. Pretty option. That's if you want to spend that extra $2,890. Real Italian leather is very expensive. Then we got the kick sensor that lets you open the rear door by moving your feet. Driver assist package, 21 inch rims, staggered, and stitched trident on the headrest. That's all hand stitched. So that's hand stitched trident into the leather. Now these are ventilated seats. This is a Rocio Red with Blanco interior. This vehicle has the adjustable suspension I call it, Skyhook. So when you put it in sports mode, it will adjust to a different height. Take it off, it will, you feel the car adjust itself. If you put it in ice mode, ice is increased control and efficiency so when it does get wet out there on most cars if you have that some have the a some have the economy that will help you have better gription gripping the road gription isn't a word gripping the road when it's wet or maybe a little snowy out there even though this is an all-wheel drive most of the all-wheel drive system let me show you 100 percent really is in the rear okay so as you see when it's going 100 percent is rear wheel drive as it learns or, or feels it's slipping, it will move to the front a certain amount. And you can see the sky hook showing you where the leveling system is. Now you can adjust the leveling system how you want it to, right here. They don't suggest doing that, but you can. Also what this does, when you put it in sports mode, so of course you hear it a little bit louder. And then, Let's take it off of here. Then if you hit this, so sports suspens suspension mode is on now. So that just tightens up all the um, suspension on the vehicle. So all your um, suspension system has individual pumps that go into the each wheel that has the suspension in it. And it pumps into the shock absorbers a fluid it makes it tighter or it takes out the fluid to make it a little better on the feel of the road so depending also what this does a lot of cars don't it has vents up above here plus vents back there for defrosting but this is for cooling so they say if you cool the windshield that's an infrared windshield it's going to help keep the heat from coming in another way to do that is ceramic coat your windshield and the only problem with that is if it's about $150 to ceramic coat your windshield and it's going to keep the heat or cold out uh, but if your windshield cracks or something happens the insurance company will not pay for that this has the sports steering with the sports um, paddles so it's electronic power steering it's have off-road it has engine start stop that you can shut off in this car It has the Harman Kardon audio system with 14 speakers. This, the system sounds really pretty awesome. Can't leave that on too much because then they'll, they won't play the video on Facebook or any of channels. This also has a Sirius XM radio. It has Apple Play, Android mode, audio, keyless entry, power lift gate. It has a dual paint 
panoramic sunroof. Has home link, of course. This has a 3.0 liter. We'll take a look at it. There's a, there's a Grand Sport S, yeah, so 424 horsepower. The regular one has 345 horsepower. So this is a twin turbo. One, two. This is carbon fiber with a dampener system under the carbon fiber. It makes the engine noise go through, down, out the baffles. Of course, it has all your regular safety features on this. Crumple zones. You notice the engine is pulled back. I kind of like calling it a mid-engine, even though it's not a mid-engine. But that's for your weight distribution of your 50-50. This is a 3.0 liter little more souped up 424 horsepower S version and this is hand built by Ferrari and Marinelli now remember 2021 22 there won't be no more Ferrari engines the Grand Sport has the lower it's pretty sharp carbon fiber lower spoiler these open up as you see they're open now the vents are here they close when it senses there's uh, dust, or uh, it wants to get cooler or hotter. These are all workable. Pulls the air in, lets the air out. So when the hot air pushes out through there. These have the Brimbo brakes, six piston on the front, usually four piston on the back, yeah. Now these cars on maintenance, for the first four years, not bad at all. Now, once you get about 50,000 or after four years, then it can get pretty pricey. Your, your 50,000 mile uh, maintenance level on this could be anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500, depending how you drive. This has a 360 camera. It has plenty of room. Now, it's kind of funny, you can, the seats do go down, puts on through, but if you want to hear that bass really well, that's why you pull this down. And the bass will go through the whole vehicle when you're playing the sound system. Nice little compartment here. There's a little part here you can put here so it doesn't fall down on you. Here's your battery. Most Italian sports cars, the battery's in the rear and it gives you a small tire that you can run on for a little bit. These do not have run flats. Now we take this, put it here. Then it's going to lock it together. If you just press this, it's going to shut the rear without locking the interior. But now you can hear this deaf Maserati sound. At that idle. And this is the SQ4 Maserati Levante Grand Sport. The leather is beautiful, plush, very, very nice. Beautiful sound, sweet notes, very nice. Harman Kardon stereo, as I said before, 980 watts, 14 speakers. Again, the car is well equipped, 100,000. They have some decent market adjustments on it, and they have great lease programs on these vehicles. But this is uh, what you can get, Ferrari hand-built engine. Maserati Italian Sports SUV. This is Maserati's best-selling vehicles, the Levantes. So before you go for that Range Rover, Land Rover, any kind of Rover, come and check out the Maserati Levante SUV. And no, the handles, they're not plastic. Yeah, everybody's going to say FCA. The only part I'm going to tell you right now is... This is the Uconnect system, and Maserati uses it because it's so good. 
The Uconnect system is a is a well-established system, easy to use, works very, very well. You can go through, you can hit, set up all your controls, you can do all your, set up your lane keeping, blind spot, forward collision, traffic assist, su uh, surround camera, you can set that all up. And then once you set that up, then you go over to the memory part right here. You set key one, key two. So everything, all the settings will go to your key. Mirrors, seats, ear, and everything flow. That's how that works. But it's easy, and the uh, navigation system is really, really well. Great navigation system. And you put everything through. Good map. It's easy because you can talk through the system and tell them where you want to go. So the Uconnect system works very, very well, and we call this MTC Maserati. But it's an excellent system, so if, if so, you take the best of the best and put it together. But let me tell you something, nothing else in this car has anything to, to, to do with Fiat, Chrysler at all. Again, this is Mark Fish at Maserati Alfa Romeo, St. Petersburg, Florida. Look forward to seeing you for a test drive. You can text me at 727-374-4489 or email me, mark, M-A-R-K dot fish, F-I-S-H, at alanj.com. Look forward to seeing you soon at the Maserati Alfa Romeo dealership. Come on down. We'll take some test drives. Guarantee you're going to love either the Alphas or the Maseratis. Beautiful vehicles. Talk soon.